serious, if you could learn the honest truth behind any rumor or mystery from the course of human history, what secret would you like to unravel? Extraterrestrial intelligence. Do they exist? Have they ever been here? How close is the nearest planet with intelligent life? Is faster than light travel possible through the distortion of space or some other means? No idea why, but I'm just so interested in finding Genghis Khan's grave. The brutal extent they went through to keep it secret, is truly messed up. I heard an interesting conspiracy theory once. Perhaps Genghis Khan actually had a simple cremation and the legend of his grand burial was used to keep his empire hungry for conquest and glory. Or those in charge pocketed the money for his grand burial and came up with that story after killing all the witnesses. Where is all of the missing art the Nazis looted during WWII? More than likely, what are the hundreds of locations of the art? Piles of ashen collapsed caves probably. That's depressing. This is going to sound like a conspiracy theory. Swiss bank vaults used as collateral by the Nazis. When the Third Reich was defeated and collapsed, the Swiss would have grossly violated their quote unquote neutrality if they revealed they had the stuff. They couldn't sell it openly, and there weren't exactly factions friendly to the idea of paying for Europe's stolen masterpieces. My argument for the Swiss having them is based in their admittance tap they dealt in gold and what would today be considered war profiteering. It is likely, therefore, that the art was indeed destroyed to absolve those who possessed them of guilt and or responsibility. Who committed the Black Dahlia murder? The details of the Bronze Age collapse. We only know very generally what happened. Read 1177 by Eric Klein for details, but precious little specifics. S. who did what and why. Droughts, famines, revolts, piracy, population movement. Trade Collapse ETC are all involved, Mycenae, Minones, Troy, Hittites, Ugarites ETC every city from Greece to the Levant was burned down and every civ collapsed, Egypt, Assyria and Babylonia didn't collapse but were severely weakened for centuries. Where Cleopatra's tomb is located, and Alexander the Great's, I read a pretty interesting theory about this, his tomb was supposedly in Alexandria and during a Christian uprising his body was hidden and lost around the same time that the body of St. Mark appears, and the church of St. Mark in Alexandria was built on the site where Alexander's tomb was. Fast forward to when Egypt was under Muslim rule, and some merchants from Venice decided to steal the body of St. Mark and take it to Venice, where the body is now kept in St. Mark's Basilica. Further evidence stated that St. Mark's body was burnt when he died so there wouldn't be a body of St. Mark to steal. It would be really easy to determine if it is Alexander with a DNA test, like they did with his father when they found his tomb, but that would mean desecrating the tomb of St. Mark so the church won't allow it. Genghis Khan's too. What happened to Shelley Miscavige? She just went missing. While the Church of Scientology claims that she's working there, I don't believe it. Same people that believe in Xenu and Fying Soul Catchers. She's definitely in the hole, and she may be brainwashed enough to feel that she deserves to be in there. Who the Istal woman really was, what she was doing, how she ended up dead in such a remote valley, in Bergen, Norway. No one has been able to identify her in 50 years. I personally believe the theory of her being a spy, it feels like that's the most feasible explanation. The circumstances were just too weird, this or maybe some psychotic break. I listened to a pretty good podcast on the Istal woman which suggested she may have been an Israeli spy. I'd read about spying allegations before, but I thought they made an interesting case for her being Mossad. If you're interested, it's called Death in Ice Valley. I've never heard of her, so I had to look it up. I think it's pretty obvious she was a spy, but I'm going to guess Israeli, not German. Who was behind Cicada 3301 and what the actual purpose of it was? It just disappeared into thin air. A new cicada puzzle has been around for a while, but it proving extremely difficult to crack. It involves a book of runes. Some pages have been solved using Old Norse runes, but no one's got any farther. I think it's some kind of spook op. CIA, FSB, MI6, doesn't really matter. I think they were sending out Cicada 3301 to find potential recruits for spy networks or hacking. Why else would they keep it all so secret? Why else wouldn't we have ever heard from any of the winners? Why all the convoluted puzzles? I just want my grandma's recipes. The secret ingredient, 
Love. I want to know about Otzi and his life. The Voynich manuscript. Absolutely. So curious about that. Is it just crazy ramblings? Is it some sort of clever code? The Mary Celeste. I believe that's the name. It was a US merchant ship that was found completely abandoned floating in the ocean in the 1800s. I would also like to find out what happened to another ghost ship that was found with everyone frozen. There was a spilled barrel of alcohol in the ship. The lifeboats were missing. And a rope was trailing behind the ship. What happened is that the alcohol started evaporating making it hard to breathe. So everyone left their stuff and went out on a lifeboat behind the ship to let it air out. Then the rope snapped and the ship went drifting away from the lifeboat. It's a little disappointing when I've known about the mystery for years. And someone explains it in a way that makes perfect sense to my adult brain. There are a lot of really effed up industrial accidents out there. For example the confined spaces horror story. Low oxygen environment. Buddy passes out. Second guy goes to help. And a third. And before you know it three funerals and a hard lesson learned. Wow. I just read about this and that sounds spot on. The Wikipedia article talks about the possibility of them getting in the boat to avoid danger on the ship, but also suggests it would be illogical to tie your boat to a sinking or burning ship, but if it was just fumes then that would be a different case. A few. What actually happened to the Samaritan man? Who he was and what he was actually involved in? What happened at the lost colony of Roanoke? Which version of the Great Filter is actually true? Citizens of Roanoke abandoned the colony and assimilated into the local Native American tribe. What is inside the Vatican secret archives? Where is the Amber Room? Either I'm stupid or I'm stupid. What's the Amber Room? It was an incredible room in St. Petersburg created entirely out of amber. Value was beyond worth. It was simply priceless nothing like it on earth. When the Nazis invaded, they looted the Amber Room systematically dismantling the entire thing, storing it away, and transporting it towards Germany, like they did with all the other fine art they could get their hands on. In 1998, the family of a German soldier produced a few small decorative pieces from a mosaic in the room, which the solid are supposedly pocketed at the time. Other than those fragments, no evidence of the room has ever been seen again. DB. Cooper. The hijacker that jumped from the jet plane with all that money and what happened from then till now. He most likely died. They gave the serial number from all the bills given to him and none have been spent. The only ones found washer up on a river. The weather conditions were so bad and it was street night. So the chances are that he died. What happened to him isn't that mysterious. He almost certainly died of hypoxia and hypothermia on the way down. And his body either fell in the Columbia or deep enough in the forest that nobody happened onto it. What is mysterious is that none of his friends, family, or acquaintances have come forward with his identity. Nobody's employee disappeared one weekend and never came back. Nobody's husband father walked out, only to show up on a profile sketch on the news a couple days later. No award paratroopers matching the description. You'd think somebody who recognized him would at least write a book to make a quick buck. But no. Who was this guy? And where did he come from? I like to know about the thousands of thousands of years of undocumented human history. The one thing that fascinates me is how did wandering affect culture? That is, all our modern culture comes from people with borders. They may not be nation states, but pick any direction and you'll either hit a natural obstacle like a mountain, or land controlled by other people. But there was a time when that wasn't true. For a few thousand years if you didn't like where you were you could just pack up, walk a few kilometers, and be the first person ever there. How did that affect their mindset? Did they have a god of new places? Did they have people who were specialized in scouting out potential places to move to? I believe it would be a result in searching for food or resources. After one place dries up, go to another. Maybe chasing prey. I know there's just so much prehistory. I'd like to follow mankind from really early in our species existence all the way until around the first few centuries CE. Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Oh my gosh. You should read the article The Atlantic did last year. Link below. It's very long. But so worth the read. It goes over what we know and what the likely scenarios are for what happened. Nothing has ever scared me so much as reading the theory of how it was done. Warning for anyone who clicks the link. There is some seriously scary description of what likely happened on the flight. I fly a lot for work. 
and one of my biggest fears about it is a pilot deciding to take everyone on the plane with them. I fly to a lot of the same places so I'm really familiar with the routes, and normal deviations due to weather or high traffic so anytime there's a weird path on a flight I'm familiar with it freaks me out for a minute. I can I get the TL. DR. Where are the missing soda children? What happened at Diat Love Pass? And does the ivory build woodpecker still exist? Reading creepy Wikipedia pages about missing children and stuff is not a good thing to depot before bed. Read a few books on the Diat Love Pass incident. Most likely scenario seems to be a Carmen Vortex street. They are super rare. But the conditions in the Diat Love Pass are perfect for it. It would have created infrasound that would have scared and disoriented the hikers enough to flee the tent. Or it could just be aliens. This seems really interesting. How would a Vortex Street cause the trauma to their bodies though? Literally every single Unsolved Mysteries episode. That man's face gave me nightmares as a kid. I felt like he had the answers but just wanted to scare me. Robert Stack. His voice is so soothing to me. I was scared by the episodes but adored him. Still do R.I.P. It isn't actually a rumor or mystery, but I'd like to learn the history behind the legend of Excalibur. Would having the Library of Alexandria live on actually have progressed civilization as much as we speculate it would? I adore reading about it as much as it infuriates me thinking of how much we probably lost. Probably not. The library had burned down several times and, by the time of its final destruction, had been neglected for centuries and was a shadow of what it was in its golden era. Where the Kules originated from and why did it spread to so many places? It's kinda weird to me that it's so well known I know what you are talking about in this vague comment. You should watch the video by Limino titled, The Universal S. The death of Marilyn Monroe. Was she killed? Were the Kennedys behind it? Was his drugs? Not necessarily a conspiracy theorist. But it would be really interesting to find out the truth. She was definitely gone before her time. Dorothy Kilgallen. The only reporter who was able to interview Jack Ruby and was supposedly close to a big break in the JFK assassination. Also died of an overdose of alcohol and barbiturates in 1965 under suspicious circumstances. I'm 1000% convinced that poor Dorothy was murdered too for getting too close to the truth. Overdose my A. All her notes disappeared. If you have like 2 hours to kill. Stonehenge. There are many theories for why it could have been built. But nothing solid. Even more unknown is how in the world those monoliths were moved and stacked. Stonehenge is so cool. I got to see it in 2012. And it was incredible up close. It's also weird how close it is to a major highway. All the pictures make it seem like it's in the middle of nowhere. Did Coca-Cola really introduce and cancel new Coke just to boost sales of Coke Classic? Who killed John Bennett Ramsey? Where was Jesus from the ages of 12-30 when he is not mentioned in the Bible? Probably living a boring normal life apprentice to a carpenter. I just need to know why NTF Easter Island even exists. Like y'all were set up on an island with basically no natural resources and y'all just decided to make these huge A heads? Like why? They've excavated beneath some of the heads and found entire bodies. Super weird. It kills me that I will die without knowing the deep dark rich and powerful people, governments, and companies have done. We only hear about what they've gotten caught doing and there has to be so much more. And what about older wealth before there was any insight into this? What did the Rockefellers do abroad on private islands before the Epsteins existed? Also, all the technology that the Gates, Musk, and Bezos crowd get to see deep in the R&D departments. I mean the Panama Papers came out and no one did sh about it. Well the rich got the journalist whom discovered it whacked. The day that US officials revealed all the country's deepest, most confidential secrets to Obama. He said he felt like jumping out of a window. If Caligula made his horse consul or if he was just messing with the senators in Rome. On a more serious note, the life of Jesus. And also, if Ptolemy was Alexander's legitimate half-brother, because that would mean that Cleopatra would be related to Alexander. On this note, 
the degree to which Constantine really believed he'd had a vision that spurred him into Christianity before battle, or if he was consciously bullshitting people because he needed something to pump up morale. On a more serious note, the life of Jesus, this was definitely going to be my answer. Guy was the most influential human ever to live yet even in his lifetime he was such a controversial figure that every record of him was biased, then after his death powerful institutions developed to monopolize his lasting influence and factions develop over which parts to emphasize and which to remove from his legacy. Be fascinating to know who he actually was. What really happened in Epstein's cell and who was involved? Hopefully Maxwell will spill her guts about the nasty things that have happened. Not literally though. Someone'll finish her off before she gets the chance. You never said just one. I would probably just go with Amelia Earhart. Or, if this is allowed, discovering the entire ocean as like 90% of it is unexplored, so if I could have a diagram of everything inside that would be great, haha, <laughs> fair enough, there are so many that I want to learn about, too, yeah heart is a good one. I would want to know the scientific advancements and knowledge lost with the Aztecs and other advanced Native American civilizations, also a true depiction of their cities I'm sure would be incredible too. What happened to Madeline McCann, there's so many opinions and speculations. A pedophile likely killed her, it was all on German news the last weeks. I want to know more about the British Columbia murders from 2019. Two teenagers killed three people and caused a massive manhunt spanning three weeks and 3000 kilometers before killing themselves. I think I heard they made a confessional tape but I doubt it will ever be published. What on earth was going on in their minds? Honestly I'd like to simply know the identity of the man who stood up to a goddamn column of tanks during the LT Neiman Square protests of 1989. The identity of the Zodiac killer or if the dudes who escaped Alcatraz really survived. The Alcatraz escapees almost certainly made it contrary to popular beliefs, a raft was found, and there were reports of a stolen car in the area, one that was later seen being driven by three men, even, damn, I wasn't aware of that. I could see why that infer would likely remain hidden from the public. Gotta keep Alcatraz impenetrable wall reputation, it's pretty legendary that those three men most likely pulled it off. Oh, I almost forgot about them, I'd have to go with the Alcatraz escapees, I've always wondered. Kinda hope they made it, sounded like they were decent people who just made a few mistakes. Don't take my word for it but I live in the town where the Anglin brothers were born, apparently to unknown women speculated to be the brothers cross-dressing, were at their mother's funeral. Now I wasn't alive at the time but the person who told me was. I'd like to read the history of the world volumes that were destroyed at the Library of Alexandria. Oh my god yes, I'm so curious about that. It's so depressing thinking about how much information was lost in that fire. I remember reading something that talked about the library being badly maintained and many scrolls books being rotten anyway. It was in disrepair long before it was sacked burned whatever. I'd like to know which people were the pedophiles that were involved with Epstein. The good news is Ghislaine Maxwell, who procured and groomed minors for Epstein and his friends, and was involved in all facets of his disgusting operation, has been arrested. She is expected to rat out all the big names in exchange for a more lenient sentence. I think it's more expected that she's gonna get killed. What's inside Area 51? In terms of permanent fixtures, the answer is likely nothing. Groom Lake Home Airport what we colloquially call Area 51 is too publicly visible to be used as a permanent secure facility for anything genuinely TSC SAP. In an era of spy satellites and unmanned drones, it would be tactical suicide to utilize such an ubiquitously known military installation in the fashion we tend to fantasize about. In all likelihood, Area 51 operates as one of the following as a temporary testing facility, where experimental technology is shipped in, quickly tested, and shipped out, nothing remains longer than necessary, and transport of vehicles and other large objects is likely done piecemeal. As a maintenance facility, Groom Lake is only ever used to repair or test nominal upgrades to avowed military technology, such as the F-35, certain drones, ETC or on spec tests to determine if various technology is still within usable parameters, as a genuine decoy, 
Groom Lake operations have no actual bearing on military R&D and none of the work is real. Other, the entire point of Area 51 is to intentionally attract the attention of the, mainly American, public. Little, if anything, can stop the country from launching a spy satellite. But what good is a spy satellite if you don't know where to tell it to look? The more the public focus on Area 51, the less time they'll spend looking for secrets elsewhere. And that means fewer ads for any such spies. No one's mentioned Jack the Ripper. I would love to find out who he was just because it would be cool to find out what made him who he was like. Did he have a bad childhood act? How to make Damascus steel. The real stuff that has been completely lost to history. Not the stuff that just goes by its name today. It'd be nice to finally know. Not just assume because we like how the modern stuff looks. I truly want to see what happened to Amelia Rea that long century ago. What exactly happened? How she died? And how close we were to finding her remains? Did she die in the crash? Did she survive and live on an island until her death or drowned thereafter? How long was she alive? Was she somehow rescued and hid her identity afterward for whatever reason despite that likely not being the case and is really just a lame conspiracy theory? What the hell happened to Noonan? I would go back and see how exaggerated are the religious books of all the Abrahamic religions. I would like to see what religious figures were really like and how everybody treated them. Turns out his name was really Hazu 5. This is going to be a fine depressing. My dad passed away last Wednesday. I'm extremely broken up over it. We were tremendously close throughout all of my childhood. But we had a falling out a few years ago that was largely my fault. I haven't talked to him in a year. The only thing I would want to know did he die thinking I hated him? Did he die hating me? I love him so if i much. Even though we had our differences he is still the greatest man I will have ever have known. I need to know. Did he know that? I'm not a dad. But I'm a mom. I can guarantee you he knew that you loved him. He absolutely did not die hating you. I have differences with all of my kids. I'm stubborn. They're stubborn. I can go to bed upset at them. I can spend days upset at them as do they towards me, but at the end, there's no doubt that I love them, whether I'm mad or upset with them, I still love them. Die at Love Pass Incident 9 Russian hikers died in uncertain circumstances in 1959 and it still hasn't been solved. During the night, something caused them to tear their way out of their tents and flee the campsite, all while inadequately dressed for the heavy snowfall and sub-zero temperatures. Why did they leave? What caused them to run? Did something scare them? Are they scared for their lives? So many questions. Very strange mystery and quite disturbing as well. Especially with some of the conspiracies. Was Kennedy really assassinated by the CIA? HMN. 